So, I was laying in bed last night and I realised I've never tried Guinness. This comes as a lot of a shock to many people, including my friends and my family. So I thought, it's time I tried Guinness. But, I don't really want to do it the easy way. Instead of doing it in the local pub in Worksall, I want to do it properly. So that's why I've come to Birmingham Airport this morning and I'm flying to Dublin. <laughs> I'm flying from here in Birmingham to Dublin and coming back tomorrow morning. <laughs> so me being me and all of this, literally yesterday, I decided I wanted to do this. I went online and saw, you know, what the COVID restrictions are. Realized you have to make a passenger locator form, which I printed off three times, but left in my office at work when I left work. It gave me no choice but to print it off again, 12 o'clock last night. Obviously, because of these COVID restrictions, I haven't flown for well over two years now, but I've heard that the queue, when you have to get these checked, it is, uh, just happens to be a mile long. So my thought was, I better get there with plenty of time to spare, because I don't want to be missing my flight. So fly at five past 12, fly at five past 12. <laughs> and I got here, Birmingham airport, eight o'clock this morning, only for me to realize they don't actually check this. So if anyone asked me for a prime example of me, it would be that. Some of you may know a YouTuber called Noel Phillips. Now he's an aviation enthusiast and he does videos uh, reviewing all sorts of different airlines all the way around the world. So I'm gonna be doing this video his style. Just to put into context how long I'm gonna have to wait. Uh, <laughs> this is the plane that I will be going on. It hasn't even departed from Dublin yet. I can't lie, you can probably tell. Um, <laughs> I've had to take a bit of a nap, because obviously I'm a bit bored. Um, but anyway, some good news. Good news, we just looked. I've just had a look at flight radar, and it seems my plane is over Liverpool. Dublin, gate 56 being prepared. They just announced the gate, it's gate 56. It's not boarding yet, it's time to go to Dublin for 24 hours, man. I can't wait, I still can't believe this stupid idea. <laughs> My ride to Dublin this morning was a four-year-old Boeing 737-800 aircraft delivered brand new to Ryanair in 2018. Our route this morning took us northwest out of Birmingham and a pretty much direct approach into Dublin. We did do a little circle around Dublin, but it ended up being a solid flight time of 51 minutes and a cruising altitude of 28,000 feet. began our approach down into Dublin. It was a pretty bumpy approach and landing, but eventually, we did eventually get there. My flight to Dublin this morning cost me a grand total of... Never you mind, you nosy bastard. Right, hotel. Oh. Hey yo, what's this? Is that me? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, guys. So we've arrived at the room, or should I say, apartment? No. Let me know what your impression is of one of your videos because I watch by the way I watch your videos every week very very good really nice set of flights down from Birmingham with Ryan Air for now I'm absolutely knackered so I think all I'm gonna do for now is oh. night you know I've been thinking what does Guinness actually taste like? I've heard it's like a burnt toast kind of taste. But, you know, it, I mean, it could be anything. It could be anything. I'm so intrigued. Like, I've always wondered what whiskey tastes like. 
I've always thought it's similar to John Smith's, but I'm obviously going to be wrong, so I think I'm waiting to find out. <laughs> Guys, the thing is, um, if you do like Guinness, or if you've never tried Guinness before, the thing not to do is to then have it all fucking night. Anyway, long day of travelling ahead. My ride back to Birmingham this morning was an eight-year-old Boeing 737-800 delivered brand new to Ryanair eight years ago. Right, time to board. Our route this morning took us on a pretty much easterly route all the way across the Irish Sea and straight into Birmingham. We had the pleasure of doing a small detour. Flight time was 43 minutes, cruising altitude 27,000 feet. Yeah. So So once again, we began our approach back down into Birmingham and I'm very, very surprised I was still sat on my seat. It was kind of bumpy. Right, so back on the ground in Birmingham. I have got my bag with me this time. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, a bit of a weird flight. You know, you, you just get a lot of uh, people moaning that you're in wrong seat, wrong seat, and that. For fuck's sake. And uh, yeah, but anyway, back in Birmingham, time to go home. A little bit bumpy. It was a very bumpy takeoff and a very bumpy landing. Uh, but nevertheless, we arrived bang on time. Right, officially back home. I know where I'd rather be right now. <laughs> Maybe with a pint of Guinness. <laughs> Yep, I think not. Girl, let me show you where we're gonna head. When you turn, come to me instead. Right through it all, now I'm never looking dead. Everybody's shocked, remember when I bled. Travel far just for you and me. Tokyo, so Dubai, LA, and Marseille. They in a tribe, put me down when I go. Make a rapper on a banger of a tune. Tell me what you're gonna do. We can keep it all alive. So keep the music playing. Cause I ain't had to stay 